Ashley Gerecht is the mother you just saw in that video, and she joins us tonight from Philadelphia. Ashley, thanks very much for coming on. Um, what you, you were there in the video with three girls. I think two of them are yours. How old are they? So my daughters are 15 and 13, and my daughter's friend who is with us is also 15. 15 and 13. What did they think of this? Uh, it, it, was a sh it was a shocking experience. Um, I, what, what is not seen in that video was our first interaction with uh, Mr. Sims. He approached us about 20 minutes before that, um, came in, I would say he came in hot. He came in yelling at us um, and really was yelling very directly at the girls, very specifically at the girls. So I... Uh, moved myself in between him and the girls asked him, you know, please talk to me. Let's let's have a conversation, the two of us as two adults. Um, but he continued to, to yell at the girls. Um, and then eventually he left. And about 10 minutes later is when he came back videotaping us. So after our first altercation with him, I, you know, came, went and talked to my girls and told them, I'm, you know, I'm really sorry this happened. I'm really proud of you guys for being here. Um, it was Holy Thursday. That, this was something we wanted to do to, as, as a prayerful act of service as we prepared for the Easter Triduum, which was going to begin that night with um, Holy Thursday Mass. And I told them, I was, you know, sometimes it's hard to do the right thing, but I was really proud of them. Um, sadly, ironically, the two older girls looked at me and said, Mom, uh, that was nothing compared to what people were screaming at us at the March for Life in January. They went to the March for Life with their high school. So I, I guess I was grateful that they had had some experience before. They were prepared for it. And because they were able to kind of stay calm, that helped my younger daughter stay calm. Um, and, you know, we, I, we prayed for him then. I said, we'll continue to pray for him and um, just try to do the right thing. And so then he came back again, videotaping us. Um, it was we we weren't as shocked because we just had an interaction with him right. about ten minutes prior, so yeah. But it was <laughs> my adrenaline was up as a mom. My adrenaline was running. Well, in it, I mean, he seems to threaten you. He he offers money for your identities. Yes. D did you yes, feel threatened? He did. Um, I was I was concerned for my girls. Um, I you can see me speaking in that video. I was genuinely trying to enter into just a, a dialogue with him to try to bring the situation, calm it down a little bit, and, um, and, and say to him on film, we're really here just praying for these women and babies. We're not looking for an altercation. I never come to clinics looking for a fight. It's always just with peaceful, right. prayerful intent. And so, yes, I was concerned that he said multiple times that he wanted the identities of... Um, my daughters. We were at that point already done. We'd finished our prayers. We were leaving. And so when I realized he was not going to enter any, any kind of productive dialogue, I thought, we'll just continue our exit and we'll just leave. It's probably I a good never call. thought, yeah, nothing, not, I didn't ever think more would really come of it. So he attacks you in that video and attacks others in the video we showed before for their skin color. Yes. What was that about? Was there, were we missing uh, part of that? Was that out of nowhere? <laughs> or what does that mean? Um, I have no idea what it means. You would have to ask him. We, I mean, my daughters and I are Caucasian, but we were there to pray for all women. We certainly don't look at the color of their skin as they come or go. My daughter's friend is not Caucasian. That's very evident in her, her video and in the pictures. And she said uh, several times to him over the course of our interactions, I'm not white, sir. Um, I know it's in the video at least once. So fortunately, we kind of got a laugh out of that because... What he was saying literally just didn't make sense. It didn't well, make and sense. It's, and it's, but it's, it's a racist attack. It's bizarre. Has the Democratic <laughs> Party of, of Pennsylvania or of Philadelphia apologized to you? Or has NARAL said anything? I've not Is been anybody contacted. By anybody? Yeah. I've, oh. No. I haven't been contacted by anyone in the Democratic Party about this situation at all. Huh. He called you racist. But as I understand it, you're arguing for fewer abortions among African American women. He's arguing yes. for more, but you're the racist. Yes. Yeah, Does I. It make sense? It, I mean, you would have. <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense to me. You would have to ask Mr. Sims what his logic is behind that, because well, we I think we tried. more babies. <laughs> we tried, <laughs> I know, but I know. He, 
he won't come on tonight. But you were gracious enough yeah. to come, and we're, we're glad that you did. Thanks very much. Thank you.